time out. Need the olive oil first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> here and I'm so excited for the very first time we are welcoming Amy Cole to Let's Get Lexi Kitchen. Welcome Amy. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. Um, again, I don't know how I keep talking these girls to come over and cook for me, but for some weird reason they keep doing it. So tell me, what are we making today? We're making Dijon salmon with garlic, rosemary, and thyme. And this is a meal that Garrett actually started making for us in college when he was like 18, 19. All of our friends would come over and he would make us meals. And this is still one of our go-tos. This is like a fancy, this looks really, I mean, we have garlic, we have thyme, we have, this is incredible. It's like, super easy, that's so the best part. Do you guys cook a lot? We cook a lot. Garrett is a phenomenal cook, and I've learned pretty much everything from him, so. That's insane. So he, does he do majority of the cooking in the house? He did, now it's a little closer to 50-50. 50-50, so you picked up a lot of the cooking skills from him? Yeah. So before him, did you cook, or no? I could make some frozen pizza in college. Okay, okay, <laughs> and now you're like sauteing spinach and salmon and. So this meal is fun because it's delicious and flavorful. It can impress your guests, but it's a 10 minute meal. So it's easy if you come home from work and just want to throw something together. If you, especially if you already have your prep done, it's super easy. Well, we love easy, clean eating here at Let's Get Lexi, so this is awesome. So tell us, what do we have here? What ingredients do you need? So we have salmon. I picked up two half pound salmon fillets. She Garlic. went fishing this morning for these, you guys. <laughs> she woke up really early, so went out to the bay, and caught these herself. It only took like five hours, but it wasn't, wasn't a big deal. <laughs> Garlic, we have thyme, rosemary, prosciutto, and we just have a slice of lemon. Awesome. Okay, so what's our first step? Put the oven, right? We have the oven on at 400 degrees. 400 degrees for the oven. So I use a cast iron skillet to get, it locks in the flavor better, and you want it as high as possible to get a really good sear. Use a little bit of olive oil, I use probably a tablespoon. I like it, I like that you cook by eye. You're just like, we're going for it. So you sear the, skip, the salmon, skin aside up for three minutes. Garrett will cook this meal as well. Like, this is just both your eggs. Mm -hmm. like yeah, he, he wanted me to say that he started it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Garrett started this, got it. Look at that. Here. Right on top. I used about two tablespoons. You just want to cover each piece. And then sprinkle the roughly chopped garlic on top. You want to roughly chop the garlic and not mince it so it, it's just a lot more flavorful that way. Rosemary and some thyme. I love thyme. Thyme is a very underrated herb. <laughs> Rosemary gets all the glory. The thyme. We use a lot of thyme. <laughs> okay, perfect. And then we're gonna throw this in the oven for about five minutes. That is so easy. Yes. <laughs> all right. Timer. So we're sauteing the pancetta. I love pancetta. So we want to saute this for a couple minutes and I'll add the garlic. This is a more fun way to eat vegetables. Definitely. <laughs> With prosciutto. What are your, some of your favorite go-to spots when you come to San Francisco? Uh, we just went to Water Bar last night and I think that's become a go-to spot. Yeah, this is good. Love that place. Again, fish. Yeah. We, I like that you guys both equally love He loves seafood. Every, we both love everything, but I think he we like to go taco delicious for lunch. <laughs> that is like my favorite. Love tacos. Love tacos. Yeah. Gonna add the garlic. Yeah, I can't believe how easy this is. It's super easy. And it's really flavorful and it can impress your guests. It takes 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys could smell this. Mm -hmm. It smells so good. How does that look for you? Yes. Wow! It's cooked just enough where it's a medium, medium rare. I'm not strong enough to carry that. Well, I... It's, yeah, <laughs> that thing is heavy. Okay, and then I'm gonna add the spinach. Oh, I love spinach. Yeah, I love spinach. Yeah, I love spinach. Yeah, I love spinach. Yeah, I love spinach.
spinach. You want to make sure the heat's lower so it doesn't go too fast. All right. Almost done. Do you find it's hard to cook for two people? No, I think it's easy to cook for two. I have a harder time cooking for one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me All right. Too. So here it is. So easy. <laughs> Super easy. It took 10 minutes. Do you minutes. want the lemon? Yeah, thank you. No worry. Lemon on it. Fun little <laughs> gadgets here. I love it. For a gadget. All right, plate it. This looks amazing. Thank you. Mm. I'm very excited to try it. Let me get some forks. This is like Fast way forward. fancier, like as a dinner than I was expecting. <laughs> I love that this is like your like casual Tuesday night dinner. Like <laughs> it take it just does not take long at all, and it's delicious and healthy. This is definitely not what my dinners look like, <laughs> but... And Garrett was not the typical college chef, so... That's amazing. How did he get into cooking? Um, both his parents are great cooks. Yeah, you so he his learned... dad's a psalm, right? Yeah, and he learns at a young age. Um, he always was in the kitchen learning from them, so... Yeah, he grew up we cooking. Garrett's dad on here is what we have to do. <laughs> he would have the perfect wine pairing with this, maybe a pinot. Uh, love so. wine, so perfect. <laughs> All right, let's give this bad boy a taste. I'm so excited for this. The sear is like so perfect. Mouth, that I'm in of this. Look at that sear. Mmm. The Dijon mustard <laughs> is like so good. That's really good, Amy. Thank you. Wow. How do you like it? I'm gonna try the spinach. That is amazing. The prosciutto makes it salty, so you don't really need to add much. I add a little bit of lemon on top and pepper. Some pepper. That was so easy. This is so good. Do you want some now? <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> Thank you for coming on Let's Get Lexi Thanks and for showing me. us this recipe. Of course, the camera. Yeah, will you come back and show us another recipe from here in town? <laughs> you need Garrett to come back. Yeah, Garrett, Garrett's dad. Let's do a wine tasting with Garrett's dad here. That would be amazing. <laughs> And thank you guys for watching. If you guys want more recipes from the wives, let me know in the comments below. And where can people find you? On Instagram, amyc23. Go follow her. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks again. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, let me know in the comments below if you want more recipe from the wives. They're go-to recipes. I'm having a good time eating them and hopefully you guys are enjoying watching them. Also, if you haven't liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!